Welcome back to Monster Prom. Let's see if I can do better at the, this is gonna be I don't know, I just I wanna see if I can do Oh you can duh. Yeah, for sure that makes sense. Let's unnegative my smarts. You're hard at work reorganizing your collection of magic stickers when you're interrupted by Polly. Hi. Hi, can you help me with my homework? I have to write an essay on the perks of being a ghost. But I am a ghost, you know, so I've never stopped to wonder what the best part is. Now I have to examine my life, and it's kind of launching me to an existential crisis? What is the true nature of the self? Is the mind separate from the body? What does it mean to be alive? Which is weird to worry about, because, like, I'm not alive. I don't like thinking this hard. Thinking hard is how I died. Don't ask me to explain that. What should I say in my paper? Um... I have pretty good boldness. If this is fun, then I, that one's better. If it's charm, then that one's worse. So I'm gonna bank on my boldness. Oh. Dang it. Yeah, no consequences for the ghost, maybe. What about the poor shark? What did the shark ever do to deserve this fate? How would you like it if I brought you into a private airplane? Actually, you would like that. Grabbed onto your body, it's getting better, and set you free falling into hot lava. You should have anticipated that twist ending, probably. So, so rude. You know, some of my best friends are ghost sharks, and boy do they have stories about people like you. Ah, uh, yes. You forgot to take into account the shark's feelings. A classic mistake. And now Polly is upset about your... Your... Whatever. I lost two char- Nugget! I have negative smarts again. Let's go! Polly! You arrive at Polly and Vera's table to find them eating. Wait, both of them? Oh, yum yum, I sure do love food and eating. Look at this food go in me. Mm, yes, this cafeteria sloppy joe truly has a subtle flavor profile. Finally, you notice the cause of this absurdity. A well-dressed businessman sitting at the next table, watching both women intently. Oh yeah, I know you like this baby. My eating is realistic and erotic. Be cool, Polly. The man wants to pay for us eating in front of him, not screaming about eating. Is this not what eating is? I forget. While Vera tries to explain eating to Polly, the businessman shyly approaches you and gives you a small bow. Much obliged, friend, he says in a soft voice. Are these two fine ladies your friends? I must confess that I have searched far and wide for a suitable candidate to fulfill my rather unusual fetish. Paying a student at a high school for monsters to eat food while I watch politely from a distance. But I find myself unable to choose which of these two beauties to hire. The snake-handed one possesses a certain grace. Yeah, pay me! Pay me to do a thing I was gonna do anyway. But the translucent one has such passion. I don't even want the money, this is just weird and I love it. In your opinion, the businessman finishes. Which would be the wiser choice on my part? I... Obviously, Polly, I've never seen someone eat so convincingly. The businessman nods thoughtfully. You know, you're right. Never before have I believed so fully that someone was actually eating real food. Yup, that's me! I'm eating real food with my real mouth and teeth! Are you kidding me? That's convincing to you? The food is falling right through her body onto the floor. Don't hate me just because I'm efficient at eating! Don't wait. Don't worry. I hate you for other, more private reasons. What? Sorry, I can't hear you. You're too busy eating real food! You team up with Polly to make her eating even more realistic. She passes her food through her body to you and you eat it for her. It's pretty hot. Cool. So, it worked? I guess? Let's go! Okay. Well, we somehow have negative smarts again, which seems like a bad choice. Cool, I no longer have negative stats. While you may be taking your education seriously for once, Polly sure doesn't seem to be. She smells like a distillery got drunk and banged another distillery. She can barely sit up in her chair. The teacher asks her what the capital of Spain is. <laughs> Eleven! Oh wait, nope, nope, that's wrong. 
I meant X, where X is the correct answer to this question. The teacher stomps over to Polly's desk, grabs her by the chin, and sniffs her breath. Polly, she asks, are you drunk in class? Uh-oh. This is one question with no right answer. You better cause a diversion before Polly gets found out. Uh, release the ferrets! <laughs> you pull the cage out of your backpack marked, in case of emergency, release ferrets. The ferrets spread everywhere, crawling up skirts and biting ankles. Everyone, everybody's screaming and jumping up on their desks. Nah, teach, I'm not drunk. There's just ferrets everywhere. I'm allergic to ferrets or whatever. It seems like a reasonable excuse in this context. Class ends early so that Crazy Martin, the werebear janitor, can bring in Abercrombie, the pest control snake. You gain plus two boldness, plus one fun, and Polly's eternal gratitude. Hey, don't do that. Let's go! Okay. What stats do I still need? I could get some more charm, which is the gym, right? Yeah. Just for the sake of... To have it. That day an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit. Leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural born leader, you gain plus two charm. Forget about that though. Polly's here and she looks ready to party, so basically just normal. There you are, my favorite my favorite party favorite besides ecstasy. You ready to get crazy? You indicate through a heart-stopping glow stick maneuver, that you are indeed ready to hit the clubs. The clubs? Not tonight, boo. Tonight we're gonna engage in my favorite pastime, party crashing. I just love crashing parties and making them go wilder and crazier, you know? Tonight we're gonna crash this totally sweet baby shower I just heard about. And knowing you, I bet you've got some killer ideas for how we should crash it. Um... Nothing amps up a baby shower like extra babies! Yes! Finally something to do with all those babies I won in that raffle! Apparently that was a smarts thing, or a creativity thing, I already forgot what it said. I'm bad at both of those, though. Uh-oh. But on the way to that party, the police pull over Polly's dump truck. Oh no, the cops! I'm not going back to jail! I mean, I can just walk through the walls like last time, but it looks bad on my college transcripts. Polly disappears, leaving you the sole owner of a dump truck full of babies. In order to keep the cops all the, off your back, you have to accept, adopt all 407 of them, leaving you with much less time for romance. You lose two charm and one money. Dang it! So I had a net loss of a, a net. My net change was minus one money this turn. Let's go. Where is everybody? I'm gonna bother you. Hey, stranger. You don't have guacamole, do you? I'm too poor for all this other stuff, but I could afford this one. Later, so I might Gator. as well. Ah, dang it. No, literally all my stats except fun. I was tricked. I was deceived. Let's go. I might as well go all in on fun, I guess. I have fun and only fun. Okay, so you have the marbles and the penguin mask. You posted a tweet a while ago begging for a kilo of guacamole. You promised a handsome payment. I don't have any money. And today is the day that paid off. Someone with the clearly fake account Wilkinson Romania 69 has DM'd you. You have arranged a meeting at the outskirts of your school, where all shady deals take place. Boy, this is complicated. If only you could buy guacamole at the supermarket or the pharmacy. Elders usually tell stories of how it was done that way centuries ago. The good old times. While daydreaming of days when guac was easier to get, you bump into at Wilkinson Romania 69, who turns out to be none other than Liam. Hey. Heard you needed some bespoke sex supplies. What? I've lived for many centuries. Of course I know what a reverse Romanian Wilkinson is, not to mention where to find some good guac. I'm all in for the people to really explore the limits of their sexualities and the potential uses of avocado. But this is going to cost you, my fellow friend. Um... I literally only have fun.
I can't... I have no charm. So I have no shot at negotiate. I have no charm or money. I have no boldness. This one's the only one that might use fun, though. All my other stats suck. Ah, oh, dang it. This one was charm? Then what was the other one? Are you kidding? Do you realize how much indie cred that would give me? Like, I can't just go telling everyone I carry around guacamole for sex reasons. That would be trying too hard. But if I can get you to do the bragging for me, let alone the free publicity for my exotic ventures and artistic... What an ignoramus. No. <laughs> Dang it! I think I failed again. Because I couldn't get guacamole because I bought coal. Because nobody was in the lunchroom. This one didn't feel like my fault. I'm mad about it. Hey, boo! Let's go! I'm gonna get laughed at again. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. No way, boo. Dang it. Dang it. I literally only had fun and negative smart still at the end. <sighs> Someday I'll win. Polly's drug cooking skills proved useful and she became a chemist for the pharmaceutical industry. But in her free time, she still cooks the real stuff. Her greatest inventions so far are watermelon flavored ecstasy and a thing called Ellis Dope. Damien became an interior designer specializing in torture machines. Last month, Vogue magazine called his products the refined marriage between macabre and sheep. Liam honed his most admirable skill and got a job with it. He now designs moment gram filters. Yeah. Dang it! I feel like I would have had a shot if I hadn't lost literally all my skills by buying coal. I was just... I was hoping that since I didn't know that the guacamole thing was going to be that last event, I was hoping that I could sneaky sneak my way into some free guacamole out of the present because I didn't have a better option. Uh, someday I'll win. It just wasn't today, I guess. Because I am not allowed to win. Ever. Okay, I'm being extra overly dramatic about it for no reason, but... I... Dang it! I did my best. But unfortunately, I failed again. Despite it being my best. I even had pretty good stats all around up until I got them all zeroed out. <sighs> well, this was another spooky month where I once again played and failed at Monster Prom. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, I tried. Sorry to disappoint. Maybe I'll win whenever I play next time. 